Hello, you're watching Mostly Weekly, and I'm presumably Andrew Heaton. Happy Shark Week. Congratulations to you, sharks, and condolences to you, seals. Do you know who isn't having a good Shark Week or Human Week? Jeff Sessions. Recently, President Trump criticized his attorney general, saying he never should have given him the job. So why is Trump upset? Is it because Jeff Sessions is a megalomaniacal lying leprechaun? No, no, and darny. Trump is upset because Sessions has recused himself from the Russia investigation, which might be the only smart thing Sessions has done during his tenure. So this week in Arbitrary Challenges, I will list as many reasons as I can why Jeff Sessions is a dick in under two minutes. Jeff Sessions is planning a pot crackdown, which is not the fun kind of pot crackdown, which involves pot, crack, and a hoedown. Jeff Sessions has said that marijuana is only slightly less awful than heroin, to which pot advocates say, Sessions is only slightly less awful than Trump. Sessions said he was heartbroken when President Obama said marijuana is not as dangerous as alcohol. Heartbroken? Marijuana not being as dangerous as alcohol is a fact. True heartbreak is finding out that Snooty, the world's oldest manatee, died one day after his birthday last week. R.I.P. Snooty. In 1996, before Jeff Sessions became the cuddly imp we all know and love today, he advocated the death penalty for drug traffickers that were convicted multiple times, including for dealing marijuana. But hey, it was the 90s, and he was just experimenting with cruel and unusual punishments. In May, Jeff Sessions asked Congress to allow him to prosecute medical marijuana providers. So take that, fat, lazy cancer patients. Recently, Jeff Sessions expanded civil asset forfeiture, which allows police officers to ignore state and local laws and seize assets of anyone suspected of a crime. To make an analogy, this would be like if we were playing Go Fish and you asked if I had any queens, and then I said, give me all the money in your car because drugs. Sessions reportedly believes that the sanctity of life begins at conception, and then apparently ends at birth. Jeff Sessions supports mandatory minimums for nonviolent crimes, so I vote we redefine mandatory minimums to mean height requirements for passing laws. Sessions has come out repeatedly against gay marriage, confirming my new position of redefining marriage as a union between any two people who aren't Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions has come out in support of torture. Also, he looks like a Keebler elf that planted drug evidence in the tree. In March, Jeff Sessions failed to disclose that he met with the Russian ambassador, and Nancy Pelosi called for his resignation. The worst part? Now I have to agree with Nancy Pelosi on something. And worst of all, earlier this year, Jeff Sessions offered to resign, but then didn't go through with it. Made it! So remember, Jeff Sessions is a pasty goblin who favors torture, civil asset forfeiture, and locking people in cages for pot. Thanks for watching. Merry Shark Week to all.